Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let us quickly move on to obviously another topical issue and of course we do know that there's been a lot of confusion in the patriotic front especially the the, the, the last few months of 2023 and uh, getting into 2024 would love to know the state of the party <laughs> there is you shouldn't even describe it as a lot of confusion mm. it's those who think they can um you know, divide the patriotic front while thinking there's confusion. Mm. Me, I'm not seeing any confusion. Because what happened, you're talking about the scenario or the, the thing which Mao Sam has done, that's not a convention. Mm. If you remember very well, when that meeting was called, it was called a retreat. Mm -hmm. Our convention, others are even comparing it to the convention we had after the death of our President Michael Sata, how it was. That was a legitimate extraordinary conference. Why? Because it stipulated in our constitution how a, an extraordinary convention is supposed to be. Mm. One, did you see our national chairperson there? No, there wasn't. Did you see me there? I'm a member of the Central Committee. Was I there? I wasn't there. How many members of parliament? Because all members of parliament are delegates Council chairpersons, councillors, constituencies, province, district. Did you see any of those people? Did you see our Secretary General there? No. And now Mao Sampa can even claim to say those uh, Honorable Given Rubinda and the Honorable Nakachinda, they are holding those offices illegally. Ask him who appointed him as a member of Central Committee. Me, I was shocked when I was in prison that he was a member of Central Committee because from the original list which was announced by President Edgar Lungu in the Mulungush Conference Center, I think me, I'm on number five. If you see the original composition, was he there? He wasn't there. And it's those same people, Honorable Linda, who appointed him to become a member of Central Committee after some people had left. Why didn't he call his appointment as illegal? So there's no confusion. Mm -hmm. And it's sad that that's why we are I seeing... I call it a lot of confusion because we've been seeing a lot of back and forth. You know, the, 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 the other faction going to the courts and, you know, just trying to, to, to resolve the whole issue that is happening in the party. And, and there's part a lot of, you know, the, the reactions from the general public and, of course, uh, other opposition parties and even the current government. It's very sad that we can even uh, see a woman of integrity. Shirufa, you are aware that us women, we have integrity. Mm -hmm. I'm out of prison here today because of a woman who couldn't be bought. Do you know that there was a job and money which was put on my head to get convicted over a crime I never committed? There was a woman called Mrs. Brona, a marketeer from Mongo who told Judge Zulu in court and named the two police officers, he told Judge Zulu, your, my lord, this police officer by the name of Mr. Uyoya and this officer by the name of Mr. Mlimba, the DIO for Kaoma, came to my house in the presence of my husband hmm. and told me that we are going to give you a diplomatic job. Since when did the police start appointing diplomats? Ask yourself. They came to me and said, we are going to give you a diplomatic job and we are going to give you money. How much does a police officer, Pombo Zafola Shinga, to even have money to spare to pay a woman so that she implicates me? That woman, actually, she's the one who was in that vehicle which 
the co my co accused was driving. I wasn't even at the scene. But because us women, we have integrity, and it's not easy to have a woman who can lose her integrity. We have seen in the other wing of government where a woman, a fellow woman, has lost integrity. It's very sad because for us women, it's rare. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm ca I've come out because she said it's me. She was truthful. And now we have seen this Miss Muyende Piri being moved from her position for taking out the genuine names of the office bearers of the patriotic front. No matter, but what I can say all in all, no matter what they can try to do, they can try to destroy the PF. They will not manage to change the minds of the people. If I was Haka in the Ichilema, who is my son-in-law? Are you aware? He's my son-in-law. Those small children you saw, look at the smallest. You look at him, you see that they are familiar. Because my son, his cousin is married to my daughter. He's my relative. And it's him who said it himself in an interview. Do you know that Mumbi Piri is my relative? If it's me who had said that, the UPND were going to raise against me. These poverty-stricken people, because they think we all live in poverty. We are lazy, we can't farm. He's my son, you know. If I was him, and I may I advise him, because I want him to succeed because of my grandchildren, at the rate things are going, I don't think my grandchildren will move with their head high and tell the nation that, our father one day was a president. They will be moving in shame mm -hmm. because of the mistakes he has made. If I was him, I would concentrate on the promises he made. If he had dropped the dollars, can I remind you, is it not yet 14 hours? He told the people of Zambia that when he's sworn in, because the investors will have confidence, will be sworn in at 10 hours, 14 hours a dollar will drop. Taira, one of 14 hours. Right. Madam, Madam, it told Mary, us. Let me finish. Let me finish. Before we even get to that, let before me we finish. get to that, we'd love to still talk about... Now, first let me finish. Me. Right. Let me finish about my, my thought. Mm. He should reduce the mini meal to 10, 50 kwacha. He said it with his own mouth. And he was saying, Because in Dalama Tashi Kwela every month, Umutengo wabunga ule nina. It was 115. As we are speaking in Lundas, the meeting was at 420. So no matter the state who you had, Cornelius Mwetwa, who is their government spokesperson, at a press briefing in, uh, at the uh, secretariat, he said, in a me, I can agree that I'm part of the confusion. I'm fueling the confusion which is happening in the PF. It's not the journalists who took out that news. In short, no matter how much they would want to destroy the PF, they will not manage. PF is not like MMD. MMD was a movement. We were in the opposition for 10 years. But tell us how you as the PF are handling the, 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 the infighting in the party. Tell Who is how fighting? Handling it and, and, and going forward, looking at the year 2024, should, what should the people of Zambia be expecting from the patriotic front? Who is in fighting? Because Mao's is alone. Tell me who is supporting Mao's from our structure. Even the members of Central Committee. Give me one name. Which is who is supporting? Even among us themselves as members of parliament. Who is supporting him? He's alone. Don't use big words like infighting. There is no infighting. As we are united, and as Central Committee, we are law-abiding citizens. That's why we have gone to the courts of law. We want to exhaust everything. And if it fails, looking at the way, the already the legislature has been destroyed. Under which law did the, my, Madam Speaker change the whip of the patriotic front because under our zambian constitution it's very clear that it's the members of parliament who should elect mundubine was elected by his fellow members of parliament mm -hmm. now we have even had when this case is still in the courts of law we have had madam 
uh, meet as again appointed a deputy chief whip in the name of Dhaka MP for Shadiza. What law is she using? Mm -hmm. Me, I feel sorry for such people that when they leave power, it's straightforward. When you abrogate the constitution, it's a serious offense. They will not get away with it. Whoever the next president will be, because I'm very sure President Akainde Ishirema is not coming back, no matter what. That's why you're seeing the outbase. What makes you so confident? Why? Because the people voted for him, hoping the cost of living will go down. Mm. Now we have seen minimum going to 400, fuel is at 30 kwacha, dollar is now climbing aeroplane with him. I'm sure by the end of this month it will be at 30. So what will motivate people to vote for him when people are sleeping hungry? Do you know that cholera, you can even vomit and you should be very careful. And I would like to tell the nation that be careful before you take somebody to the cholera center. Because sometimes hunger, drinking too much water, people are not eating. It will make you vomit. So you lift somebody because ninsala hunger, bambo baluka at cholera. Be careful. Observe people before you take them to the cholera center. Right. Um, you, you say that you know the people of Zambia might not vote. Uh, it's you not might. PND back into office in the year 2026 as we go to the polls. But, but some of the um, members of the public feel that you know the UPND is actually you know working in the background and the results will be shown soon. <laughs> Which background? Didn't we see people when he came back? Well, did we see? I was shocked. You know, when you in our time, if you went to DK. Hillcrest, University of Zambia, you were regarded as cream de cream. Do I even have a DK and a school paraded at our sausage airport to go and celebrate over the debt restructuring? People were dancing all over hey, debt restructuring. What have we seen? Zero. China has refused the, the conditionalities. And France, people are suffering. They're talking about free education. Here where we live, we have silver rest. Some children can't afford five kwach moving from here to go to silver rest. You find them by Nkombo, Shachikanda. You know, if something is going to be better, you can say, look at our agriculture policy. Mm. People are still getting fertilizer. They're sharing. As we are speaking, this is January, eh? Urea hasn't yet been distributed. This is a farm. Me, I'm not a beneficiary of this visit. But I hear my neighbors here, those who benefit, they haven't yet gotten up to today. So what things would get better? 2025, if things change, people will know that they were fooling us. It's because my elections are raised. I don't see him coming back. And you know the good part in Zambia? Have you seen that people are quiet? If you think because you have brought, is it this military base now here, elections will be rigged, they will be manipulated, you are lying to yourself. Right. If you think you have a chairperson whom we saw with the hands like this, who is the Kuku Electoral Commission, if you think McDonald's Chipenzi is there with your supporter, you rig, you are joking. The let us talk, about, Zambia you. Always let us talk about you as the PF. We do know that you're also very confident that in 2026 you, you will retain a power and uh, you, you want the people of Zambia to vote for you. Obviously, looking at the fact that from the past, we've, we've had members of the party saying that you've learned from the past. But what makes you so confident that the people of Zambia will still vote you back into office? It's the people themselves who are saying. And the other day, now I've even started people when PF. When UPND president was saying, hey, people answered that mm. they are comparing. And it's very, very difficult when you have a comparison. Don't you wonder why some women, they are in a relationship, they are beaten every day, but can they go back? Or a husband who leave the wife because she was very dead after some years, even if the new wife you has gotten her, 
that about she decides to go back to the old wife. Another it's because of peace over hooliganism. Which peace? Because people have even realized. Do you know why we have peace now? It's because the opposition we have are not violent. UPND is a very violent party. Before PF came into power, UPND was fighting with MND. Have you forgotten the incidents in Sorwezi, where the then Secretary Gen General Charles Kakuma ran away from the lodge naked in the by-election of Mulondo Mzungu? Mulondo Mzungu's son even hit three innocent children who died. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten about the Mapatizia formula? Isn't it the UPND? There is peace now because the opposition who are the, here now, us, we are very peaceful. But you also might want to agree, Madam Piri, that like, during your tenure as, as a patriotic front, there was a lot of colorism, especially in markets and bus stops. And this is one thing that the people of Zambia really wanted to do away with. Yes, and the goodness, me, I'm on record. Mm. Even when we were in power, you saw me condemning Kadarism. And I could do person, I'd go there, there was that cafe mask I'm good. I went there as a woman. I walked from the secretariat to Soweto Market. We were not denying the way our friends are denying. There are cadres in market. You saw what happened in Kitwe at K, 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 KBM, whatever it's called. And the police can have the audacity. They know those were UPND to say cadres generally. They are denying. But things are happening. People are being charged in these markets. So let those who, at least us, we have learned from that. And people like the leadership, ourselves, who are acknowledging. You heard me one time go on radio and call for people to get arrested. And we seeing the flashing of the, the, the money now. I was seeing, is it this comedian in Dombo talking about it? And they think people are not seeing those. As we have learned, the main thing which removed us in power, people believed the cadres were too much. Mm -hmm. And we are not refusing. We have acknowledged. And as leadership, we have seen that these cadres, our cadres are no longer in station and bus stations. As as How are they surviving? Aside from the issue of cadreism, one of the reasons that you were also kicked out of office as a patriotic front was the issue to do with you know high levels of unemployment in the country. And this is something that the youth you know used to cry out for. We were employing. You know, like us, the civil service, we were not pub you know publicizing or the or politicking about it the way our friends are doing it. They told us that they had employed 30,000 teachers. Mm -hmm. Is it right that out of the 30,000, we have heard that 50% don't even qualify? Mm -hmm. What type of education are they giving your children? Because me, my children have grown. My grandchildren, what type of education are they getting? If 30,000, 50% 50, 50 of those are not even qualified. As if that's not enough. We heard that in the councils, they were claiming that the people there are not qualified, they don't have certificate. That's a lie. And you know, they are used to lying. How can they endorse an illegality? In PF, we saw a minister, let me finish. We saw a minister in the name of Masumba who didn't have a proper certificate. He was jailed. But why should UPND endorse an illegality because if you don't have a grade 12 you can't get a civil service job that's corruption they're encouraging corruption mm. and a lot of people feel that there wasn't any transparency when it came to you know employment under your tenure as a patriotic front people just used to hear that there's been a recruitment without you without jobs being advertised that, that's a lie because you know that now zambians can see that upnd they are liars Adverts were there. Mm -hmm. There were papers when the police, unless you are telling me that even yourself, you never, never saw that. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me like when they were employing National Service, Zambia, Air Force, me, I was sitting in, in the papers. Even the names came out. But because UPND was lying, using propaganda, that's, and the people now have seen that it was a lie. 
when a lie is repeatedly said, people started believing. But now they are comparing. Remember how they condemned Zambian Airways, which now is their pride. When you see Tayari talking about it, they have been forgotten. They think everyone has forgotten when they were condemning that Zambia has no capacity to have that Zambia Airways. Isn't it them who are now parading, oh, now we are going to buy new aeroplanes? It's them. You are not even aware, some of you journalists, you didn't even know that the Kasama airport, where the president went to boast, was started by the patriotic front. When we were leaving office, it was at 80%. That's our project. They condemned those things. Now they are beneficiaries. So they lie. In short, they, are, they lie. And at least the people of Zambia can see that they are liars. That is the same project some officials in Kasama say was abandoned and now the UPND, when they came into office, they took over and Kasama can now rejoice over something. That, that's was not, it really abandoned? The, it was not abandoned. It was left at 80%. Mm. That's not true because they lie. But people can see through. Can you compare that Kasama airport? Can you compare the sausage airport with three by two classroom blocks, which they are boasting about? All right. We, 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 and the other thing you as journalists, there's a freedom of information bill. Mm -hmm. You should ask, you are free now to ask pertinent questions. Find out if the, this 30,000 CDF is given in totality. You are going to find that there are certain percentages which are given to other areas at the end of the day. Find out from the members of parliament the total CDF which goes to people. It's only about 15. Ka 5% Kaba Council, Kashan, Kashan. And the guidelines are not followed. The president is not supposed to be part of the CDF to give directives. Where did any constituents sit down and agree that now we need ambulances which they bought? Now we need monitoring vehicle. There was nothing like that. Abrogating the laws which are set by them. Right. Let us move on quickly, Madam Imperio. We do know that obviously we, we're running out of time, but let us look at the year 2024. We, we know that uh, prior to 2024, in 2023, there was a lot of uh, issues that the people of Zambia cried far about, and that is the cost of living. Obviously, we do know that it's been escalating the depreciation of the quarter and also the fuel palm prices also. Um, but let's start uh, with the economy for the year 2024 and also vis-a-vis -vis with the year 2023. How best do you think the government can tackle the issues to do with the economy this year? There is no hope in the economy. Mm. And you may ask, why do I say so? Why do you say so? 2023, the breadbasket as projected by JCTR was at uh, 9,000, almost 10,000, a family of uh, five. Just the day before yesterday, we heard our Minister of Finance mm -hmm. telling us that it is going to be very tough in the next day. The economy will start improving in the next eight months. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you heard what was to become Sokotwani said. And now we have our biggest lender, China, which has rejected the conditionality of debt restructuring. We, the people of Zambia were calling on the president to go to China so that he can go and negotiate with uh, the government there. What did we see? And people, when we were talking, they thought we were joking. Me, I was shocked to see a president as a former diplomat paying a state visit, like let's say William Ruto is coming to Zambia for a state visit. What I know as per diplomatic etiquette, he's supposed to first arrive in Lusaka, then start going, if he wants to go to Mwandi. But what did we see? Our president started from Shangongo, then went to Vugui, then went to where? You as journalists, are you even aware of the agreements they want to sign there? Mm. The nation hasn't been told, not even from a minister. And yet he went with over seven ministers. He arrived in, uh, in the capital to see the president. The day he was living there for hours. Did they negotiate anything? 
To me, what I've seen, there was nothing that was negotiated. And if we didn't negotiate with China, they have refused the conditionality. We don't even know when the date will be restructuring. What do you expect? Me, I expect nothing. We should just brace ourselves to more hard work, to more hardships, more me no medicines in the hospitals. That's what we should do. But, but how, how best do you think the government of the day can work around, you know, just reviving the economy of the country? Reviving the economy of the country, the only way is, you know, we are a very rich country in mineral resources, mm -hmm. right? They should do what our, country, our neighbors in Botswana have done, to tell these mine owners, we should own 50-50 so that we can benefit from our mineral resources. As PF government, we started stocking gold in the Bank of Zambia. They should go back to that. Sungerite should be sold on the market than having to my pockets of Kadas, Minister Aren't you shocked that you can have a minister who can sell a mine to a foreigner? Don't you want to own a mine yourself? We have cadres who have shares in manganese. They are eating on their own. This is why you have even seen these candles being exposed. And to have a A lot of people are sleeping on empty stomachs. So the government should come in, use our own resources so that the people can benefit. Do you know that even the emeralds, first grade emerald now is from Zambia? We are number one. But do we have anything to show? Just, you know, Utunu Afi Abantu, Tua Yuma, that's all we see. People, those who supported UPND, I can give, I was seeing my brother proud. I'm sure you saw the video which went viral, where he's complaining that people are now laughing at me. Me, I applied for 50,000 to ECC. I haven't been given up to today. Mr. Patrick Kangwa, look at me, me, I'm a kada. I worked for this party, I'm still riding a bicycle. When you look at my brother, another adult with my nutrition. That's a fact. That's what is there to show. All right, as, as we come into the end of our discussion, Madam Piri, um, the, SG, the, the, the deputy SG for the UPND, Madam Gertrude Menda, has called on the, 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 the current government and the opposition to bury their past and um, the past of 2023. You take on that. Uh, Gertrude Menda is my sister. Mm -hmm. We come from a long way. Even when I was in prison, that's one of the people came and visited me twice. I can go to her home. She can come to my home. Our children they know each other that's how close we are but it's sad that she's being forced to say things which are neither here or there how can they call us as opposition to work with them when they are ganging us they are stopping us our freedom of you know gathering to talk to the people yes now we have cholera but this cholera was here even when the president went to have that meeting at masuku ground in choma are you aware that even Choma has cholera now? But that meeting, unfortunately, maybe because them they are not attracting people, we saw how that meeting was a flop of the president. We saw the party cadres in a bus station where they are distributing midi meal to people. Those, those were gathering. Why are, they, why are they stopping us? Those are our fundamental rights. Yes, my sister, I agree with you. You mean well, but do the right thing. Let us also have freedom of assembly. Do you think this is a genuine call, especially coming from the government? Do you think it's genuine? It's not genuine because, again, we we'll hear Koneda Sumitoa will say something else. If it was coming from the government spokesperson, Suma wasn't going to think it was genuine. Mm -hmm. And you have seen the way these people have come out. It's not. If it was genuine, why is the deputy mayor? That's just it. Deputy mayor is not even elected the way the mayor is, can overrule a mayor. Are you aware of that? And in fact, let me call upon the people of Lusaka. In the words of Lusaka, tell your councillors they, as they go to elect another deputy mayor on the 15th of January, let 
you elect another person who is progressive, who doesn't look at politics because politics are over, this is time for work. Councillors from Lusaka, Mwema citizens, Mwema Lusaka, even our councillors when to elect a different person from this deputy mayor. She's a deterrent to democracy and development. Right. Um, your last remarks as we conclude. My last remarks is to age the people of Zambia. Those of you who haven't yet gone to change your NRC, please go and change your NRC. Get your voters cards. If you are sleeping on an empty stomach, it's only your vote that will change your destiny. If you haven't been able to access CDF, which has been talked about, it's only the voters card which will make you access the CDF. If you are a qualified teacher who was left out in the, you know, in the replacement of a teacher who is not qualified, this is your time. And I wish everyone a prosperous 2024. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.